everyone welcome back to another lessons on python hands on so in today lessons we are going to learn or we are going to understand one more important concept of string formatting so in already in previous video i've already discussed some the concept of if string okay so if you already remember this one or maybe you have watched this one uh, if you have watched previous one not this one so you get the concept so basically the string formative of different way of presenting your information to your console or maybe some output files anywhere we want to display that information so basically formatting the string so one way was there last we already previously discussed that is called f string okay so that concept name was f string and that is basically working like that and such thing and inside there you are placing some code you know maybe let's call as a name so directly you are calling variables is or maybe you are calling some expression evaluations you know like like a star b something like that right or also you are doing something like that okay is like that okay so this was thing so similarly <coughs> if you want to do same thing what are the operations here given so the same thing we can achieve with the help of some other way that is called dot format method okay so yeah but in both cases there might be some slight difference or maybe your different use cases the different scenario where should be there but some of the common operations you can perform in both either with the help of a string or dot format so the syntax is this for a string is this similarly for fun functions i already explained in this video previous one so how we can make it correct good practice for so that you there is no any correct or like syntax error or something like that so i was also suggesting like you do like that first type this double quote and then inside whatever you want to replace the things you can do similarly in case of dot format what you have to do so you know how to define the string this is defined way of a string similarly in case before we are defining f f means first string but now in this case we have to call this method okay so f string is a way f okay so this is one way of displaying uh, formatting this one and this is a type of functions available inside this string method okay so how we can do that so that is called format method okay so that is called format and inside that format now you have to pass the something like that okay so in this one so you can see i think you might get the idea from here we are displaying this in more formatted way or more detailed way how we can do again you can call inside this one okay like that okay so you can see here in this case we are doing like everything we are written inside the curly bracket okay but in case what we are doing we are calling the dot f format method okay you can call as a f symbol as a format so that is called f string but similarly uh, you can similar not exact the thing but i'm just try to explain how we can memorize the syntax in case now we have to call this is this is not function any right this is not one function this is some defined template provided by the python developers and but in case of here this format is available inside format method of the string any okay so a string has this method this is the is a functions and this function also doing the same way but you can see now we are removing this one first we are removing f so how we are removing f from here dot that is called a format so that is format and now we are removing this curly bracket we are removing this curly bracket and we are written this opening and closing curly bracket here okay and you can see and now we are passing this variable inside this function as a parameter okay so you can see the same order we have defined this one okay we will get this output okay so the order is same suppose we are defining one variables control so if you have to define like that okay but if you want to mention like i because whatever the parameter i am passing inside this one but i don't care about this order i have i just have to make different order so how we can do that so there is others two way how we can do so just copy this one and paste it here now you can use the place indexing here okay so this is called 0 1 2 indexing like that okay but if you want to display see two things is here the same order we are passing the parameter the same way we want to display to the screen in this case but in, you are saying because whatever parameter i'm passing any orders so that is correct but i want to 
display to the screen different format different format means different order so how we can do that but again you have to memorize this thing indexing always we have to mention that is called 0 1 2 index so now you can mention here any order you can mention here okay so you can mention i want to age first okay so you can mention one and then again you are saying i am going to print role then after two then after i are going to print the name so you can mention here zero okay fine so this is other method one more method is there okay so how we can display the same information okay so how you can do that let me paste it here so now you can use some placeholder text okay so i am just removing this one Mm, okay fine so suppose you already know what is called default parameter passing so what about parameter inside so this is functions okay so inside this function we are passing different argument also we can write some placeholder text so what is called placeholder text so i can see here full name so whatever you are passing here so it can alias or nickname you can say okay and i want to do like that i want to a is equal to this and i want to Role number equal to this okay so it means you are assigning this value to some variables okay and now instead of this value we are focusing on this variable so this is called placeholder variables okay or we are mapping this value so this is the value we are passing inside this one we are calling those functions okay or it will variable something now in any order now we don't have to worry about the number okay so you can directly call this placeholder text okay so maybe you can call here this one okay order or again order is not matter now we have given this different variables name okay so maybe you can call here okay so just you have to call this if you want to print some information so you can just call the placeholder name okay placeholder variables fine so this is the whole concept till now uh, uh, we we need to know okay so this is very important so uh, we are going to do the practical so these things are going to helpful and this of the example i'm going to show you explain to you will be related to this one okay fine so i think you hope you understood this concept correctly right because there based on this there are lots of problem you can solve easily okay so let's move to the coding part okay so here i'm going to create one more called str format format okay str format dot py okay fine so let me show you the first example so again i'm going to write going to create some variable and assign some value called alice I don't know say anything so you can pronounce it any name I'm just calling Alice Alisa or Alice I don't know assign some age called 24 and now I'm going to for matted create some you know where string not a string I'm going to create some variable is string you can either directly on inside print function or we can define some variable okay so how you can do this this then i have to call format now inside this format you have to pass the argument like name okay and then pass age okay fine and now you can call in this one okay like that and then you can print it here okay so just to call this one let it here as jumble one fine so let's print what is name of this file python script file str formatting right so you can see at least in 24 now same thing i'm going to print in let's say this one format one and this is called one and now i am going to copy again and then call it example two right 
2 here and now we are going to use some indexing here okay so how we have to mention everything yeah, there is no any explicit so by default it will be treated as 0 and 1 okay order should be maintained here okay like that so call this one to then there won't be any difference in result okay but that's just a different way okay so you can see getting the same result right so what is third way third way is if you are also if you are using indexing right so you can write in you can change the order okay so you can call anything now we are mentioning like that so there is no any is okay because in this case if you are do not mentioning any not mentioning any indexing so it will be taking by default left to right might 0 to 1 left to right and if you are mentioning something so now you are uh, means uh, you know explicitly writing here okay so i need to call in this order okay so here forcefully you, you mentioning in which order i want to print the information okay so now i run this one so okay so you can see 24 is this one but make sure whatever this order is decided based on the inside this function parameter okay this function what in which order we are passing these uh, variables okay so this is the main thing based on that we can decide this one so this was the third example okay now let's suppose in fourth one i'm going to write let's make it again remove this one and now i'm going to create some placeholder text that is called nickname full name okay and here i'm going to my age any variables you can create based on your need i'm just for showcasing now you are free from this parameter what the parameter we are passing okay what is the value of these variables now what we are calling what actual name so you, you know the concept of if you are know the concept of sql you know so that is called of alias so you can create create alias alias means nickname okay or we are uh, you are creating different you know obviously name and that is not anymore and others example like that and how now you can directly call like you can call so now if you are calling so there is no any order where you are calling this one either you are calling inside this or inside this okay because you have already mentioned something so if you are already giving some index so now it's fine but if you are not mentioning so by default left to right will be treated so again you are losing so any any order so that is flexibility if you are you know writing some indexing so these are giving some flexibility here it's a your order is reserved okay so in this case your order is reserved okay but if you are mentioning one two three so in any order you can call the indexing same concept here if you are giving some alias or placeholder then you can directly so placeholder could be even directly you can use indexing or maybe you can directly use some variables and you call inside here okay so now what should I call my name not age okay so these are different way I think now everything should be correctly correct right so we are getting the correct result fine so these these are three concept I think you have to memorize four I think and rest of the, your problem will be sorted solved based on that dot format method as common okay so what we are using okay so let me explain how we can do so one method was uh, dot this is basic formatting okay so positional i have already explained fruit one fruit two okay sorry not fruit two full name first name I full name my name okay so this one thing indexing already explained to you okay and named as placeholder okay so that is called named placeholder okay that is called index placeholder normal indexing that is called and again i think uh, if you already know so what more concept you can use here so similarly if you already know concept of pi okay so you can even in this one this way also you can do the this one okay so dot format so that format also give the flexibility if you want to 
do some okay also i think here you can also use the concept of left right alignment okay so where wherever you are using this one okay again you can use the uh, expression evaluation again because this curly bracket wherever you are mentioning curly bracket we are evaluation expression evaluation all thing as available there okay so if you have, if you haven't watched the previous video you can watch it what is my fs thing video i'm talking about so we'll get the all the concept it will be applied here again okay but the syntax will be different okay so now okay so now let's try to understand can we implement the text alignment on all of this okay yeah so let's do this one so make sure this was our syntax and let's suppose this right and then give some spacing called 30 okay again for this 30 okay so if you are i think there was some mistake i think if you are mentioning some spaces something like that you will get some error okay so let's might again i'm going to apply on this one same thing mm, write it 30 make sure some spacing sometimes give error okay so i'm going to do similarly you can do you know right center alignment like that you know if you want to left alignment something like that it will right alignment if you want to do center alignment everything is same okay just some time to see if this thing is working or not same way you can apply to here 30 just want to apply on all in this case i'm going to apply on this 30 and again i'm going to apply on this okay so all the things should be right aligned okay so let me show you if this is correct syntax then it should be work it should work right oh sign fine <laughs> so i think everything working correctly right so this is the correct syntax let me change some spaces here okay let me i think if i going to make some spacing here so am i getting error oh yeah so this things you have to take care about okay so this is i think in previous thing i was doing the same thing i added some spaces somehow and we are getting the error okay so make sure this thing you have to mention or should i write before a little bit there okay now again we are getting this error okay so make sure if you are using some such thing okay for alignment make sure there is no any proper or there is no any unnecessary spacing after the curly bracket or between these okay it should not be any spacing so this was the correct can be make a space here let me show you again okay so again this is not working okay so can we add a space here i think okay right so here is possible okay but after this and after this here is not allowed here is not also allowed okay so between this this is basically called separator okay after separator we can add this one and this mentioning where we want to this okay so this basically if you mentioning is colon so it's mentioning okay now we are going to do something extra so it's called separator or syntax for or doing some special action on that and what is the action name we are going to do do right alignment and then right alignment what should be the width this should be width okay so this one so this was the concept of alignment with the help of dot formatting okay dot format method okay so that's all everyone for this video i think you got some insightful and some knowledgeable information from this video and might be we are going to use in in your coming future video okay so so thank you for watching let's meet in another one till then keep learning and keep learning